What's up YouTube? It's Mr. Ferguson here, back again from Central North Carolina. Thank you guys so much for coming back, clicking on another video here. I appreciate it. Thank you for all the new subscribes, all the new likes on the videos, all the support, the commenting. Uh, thank you guys so much. I think the last video, uh, we talked about the spray. We've talked about um, uh, Pete's uh, cow tide. A lot of comments on that. So a lot of you guys are uh, uh, salt, uh, you know, it shows me a lot of the channels that you guys that are subscribed watch and a lot of you watch GCI Turf and Pete. And so it looks like a lot of people are using it. So hope you enjoyed that video. We're gonna kind of talk about that today a little bit, but it's been almost exactly two weeks since we applied our protein fertilizer 12024 and so i just thought we would kind of look at the lawn go over it look at the color of it you can kind of see it you know get a peek behind me it needs to be cut but um, that's part of what we're going to talk about i'm going to cut it today at some point because it absolutely is long it's probably five inches five and a half inches right now but we'll go into that so i haven't cut it so it is long it is shaggy but we'll go over that but i figured that we would just kind of talk about the protein what you know some of the things that i was just thinking about the other day and i've noticed and uh, talk about that as well as some of the um the hydrotain we'll kind of review that a little bit the uh the 101 caltide as well as the ck so just kind of a review video and a walkthrough sort of of the lawn so thank you for tuning in with that said uh remember to subscribe if you're not we're uh, we're our goal here for the rest of this uh you know summer season is survival we're in survival mode if you're new to the channel um this is my third cool season lawn going into summer the first two you know that the first time it really just melted away quickly in the early parts of summer last year we began to at the end at, like right around this time of the year we started to try to pump in some um potassium into the lawn it was a little too late to try to start doing that and so but we did end up having our lawn be a little to last longer into august this year we're hoping we can get all the way through summer into september with as little die off of grass die off as possible and so we'll kind of talk about that a little bit as well so that's the goal that's what we're pushing for we're not so much pushing for the striped perfect you know um you know trimmed and edged lawn that's not what i'm worrying about i'm worrying about survival mode kind of like what i was talking about with a buddy last night at church so with that intro said thank you hit the like button if you enjoy the video let's turn the camera around let's walk through the lawn and let's review protein and caltide and hydrotain let's just talk about these things that we've applied recently here on the channel start with color the color is looking great um as i mentioned to you guys um it was you know um the the first treatment the 24012 i believe is what we put down for spring for protein fertilizer um we did that and uh, we did that right around march 1st exactly on the date of march 1st so if protein lasts 90 days you can do the math march april and then all of may well i heard rumors you know you kind of want to put your protein down around mid-may which would be technically right now but i did it a little early by doing it around the 6th of may so if i'm not mistaken i looked at it on my phone this morning where i track it but um it's been literally about two weeks since we put down 12 0 I, I had a rainstorm come in if you was if you didn't hear this story and i ran down here to my shed and got my spreader and threw the bag in there and as I was finishing spreading it on this section of the turf, the rain began to come down hard and it got watered in instantly. So uh, literally the next morning I wake up and the grass is just as green as it can be. And I was like, oh my God, it just absorbed it that quickly overnight. It was a color change because we did it in a rainstorm and it got watered in with natural rain. So it's very shaggy as I always like to do. If I come in over here, well, you can kind of see my, you can just see. So this is the reason you can maybe see some of the, um, the tall grass there. Maybe if I move you a little, can you see some of those strands of grass that are just much taller than the rest? So one of the things I've obviously noticed by putting this fertilizer down, it's 12, 0, 24. If you're new to the analysis, that's 12% nitrogen, zero phosphorus. We don't need any phosphorus in my soil and 24% potassium. 
Now, obviously the nitrogen is your green up. Nitrogen is what makes it, you know, the blade stand up at attention. It gives it color and, um, and, and potassium is your stress reliever. It's in our soil. It, it builds up potassium in our plant to help survive harsh conditions. And we've added some recently, as I mentioned in the intro there, some CK, which is derived of kelp and help it be stress resistant um, to heat and other things like winter. But obviously in summer, we're talking about uh, stress of the sun. And then we did caltide, calcium. That calcium is supposed to get into the blade of the plant, get into the plant, and really uh, strengthen the cell walls and to help drive nutrients up into the plant. Just like milk is good for your bones, the calcium is good for um, the, the, the plant as well, according to Pete at GCI. So that's what we're trying this year. So now I've watered. Uh, yesterday I did a lot of watering. I did this side of my house over here. Um, I did a section, this section over here. I did some watering. And the front Front lawn. I need to do the back today before I mow, but you can see I'm still in regards to hydrotain. I don't know if you guys can see this, but this is one of our spots and it doesn't look terrible, but this is a little stressed out. Now the sun, obviously you can tell we've got this big old shadow right now um, around 9 a.m. in my house. And remember in the, in the, in, um, in the fall, in the winter time, this shadow doesn't exist. These leaves are completely gone. It's a totally different backyard as far as shade. We've got a lot of shade in the morning time. As soon as that sun comes up, this will all be blasted with sun for you know the, the, the rest of the seven, eight, eight hours of the day. So this area is telling me it's thirsty. I did, to update you guys, I did get out here during a rainstorm and reapply my hydrotain. Uh, I did roughly 12 ounces, a bottle, filled it up with water. It was raining, I had my raincoat on, and I was out here like a crazy man, spraying hydrotain everywhere. Got it all covered, the rain continued, it watered it in, so I got that off my plate if I failed to mention that previously. So now, as far as the, the, the fertilizer, we do still have dry spots, and I say that because this side is not growing as much, but if you look inside, some of the areas like over here by the box and stuff i've got grass springing up everywhere so growth when we're talking about putting down fertilizer you're talking about well how much growth are you getting is this fertilizer really causing the grass to grow crazily mr ferguson to answer you honestly yes um, i've noticed it growing a whole lot faster since i put down this fertilizer and i put down three quarters of a pound of the protein we still get dry spots and when there's dry spots it seems there's less growth so you see less growth in this type of area than other areas our back areas if you're new to the channel you say man it looks a little darker than over here in the shadow this looks a little darker over here than over here you would be correct because that's our jonathan green dense shade seed we talked about the differences it is definitely darker um, and it looks fantastic um, when you when it's in the shade like this obviously the shade makes it look even darker but it's 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 been great i've loved having this dense shade mix back here it's taken the 12024 just like the gci turf seed up here and it looks phenomenal and as you can see it's shaggy it needs to be cut um, it's long you've got some areas that are just longer than the other ones we got some leaves falling but man it is just pretty to the touch our little grass that we've planted here um when was this Feb the end of february or march get that stick out of here um it's doing great the sun is not really beating down on it it gets just enough sun um and it's it's continued to be thick and just look great i've cut it i've ran over it um remember this is the dense shade mix i planted this in spring and i said hey don't plant grass in spring now the only caveat to this is that it's in the shade there is no direct sunlight beating it up as you can see as i step back a little bit more you know it's it's well shaded even when the sun comes up you know right above it you've got tons of trees and leaves blocking it's barely getting any sun just enough and so it's the perfect seed combination i believe for this section the dense shade mix so so far it's looking great it's not stressing out it's not thirsty it's getting enough water um, it's thickening up all the seed seems to be coming in we thought we had had it a lot of it wash away but it's really came in nice and so as i mow today i'll continue to mow it and just continue to work on it but the dense shade mix looks great with the uh 12 0 24. um the rest of the lawn when you come out there are as i mentioned there are sections this is another area that really stresses out for whatever reason 
right in this general area, it likes to stress out right here. As I mentioned yesterday, I had the sprinklers going. I don't think I got down here and actually watered this heavily down here, but it looks like the hydrotain may be helping here. Uh, Miss Ferguson actually said, man, my flowers, I can't understand why my flowers, I haven't watered them a couple days and they're doing pretty good. I said, well, guess what? When I was out there in the storm, I sprayed hydrotain on them. She's like, oh, that makes sense because they didn't look droopy or anything. So we've seen the hydrotain work for the flowers as well. The grass is literally like five inches tall right now. I'm trying to keep it long. Remember, if you're new, you want to keep your tall fescue taller. Uh, we're in the 90s today and yesterday. And so uh, we want to keep it taller. We don't want to put too much stress. If it's not growing like this, um, we don't want to get out and cut it and just run all over it with our mower because there's no point in doing that, but adding more stress to it with the lawnmower. But as you see the wind blows, you know, you can see the blades blowing in the wind there a little bit. Um, but the color looks great. The, the, the protein, I'm impressed with it as long. It seems that with the protein, um, I was telling uh, Mr. Kevin, I believe, that after a good rain or a decent rain, we haven't really had a good rain. We're getting like 0 0.6, 0 0.5 inches of rain when we do get some. But after a decent natural rain, the protein seems to really green up. Sorry, there's a uh, dump truck coming. We'll pause it and come back. So as you can tell, uh, the front yard's looking pretty good. We still, as I mentioned, we still got Poa annua hanging around. That is definitely Poa. That is not uh, Kentucky bluegrass from our GCI Cool Blue that we did two years ago. Um, that is Poa annua. It's still hanging on. It's looking a little brown. It's looking a little um, weak, and it should be dying off soon. But we still have Poa in the lawn. So the, the bad part about cutting it four inches, you still got to deal with the Poa and the way it looks. And it's better when you cut it at three, three and a half because you can cut these seed heads off. The lawn looks better, but it should be dying off here soon. But, and then you can see beside it, just a wild, you know, look at that, look how tall that grass has just grown. Um, it's just super, super, some of it just is taken off. The growth has been just like every two or three days I could easily be cutting the lawn, even though we're in mid to late May and uh, temperatures are increasing. So another one of our highly stressed out areas, excuse me, you can see right here, watered it yesterday, it's looking okay. The bank is looking okay because I watered um, well, very well yesterday. The whole front yard got a good dose of sprinkler water, so trying to band-aid it until we get some natural rain. But just to show you our flowers, as I was mentioning with hydrotain, you know, we sprayed some of the hydrotain in the rain that night and they seem to be doing pretty well. As I kind of walk by here and you can kind of see what they're looking like. So the flowers are doing pretty good looking pretty well even our edible flowers we got up here um, are standing up looking well here strawberry plants basil um, green peppers um, kale things of that nature these have really taken off my wife has already we bought a new american flag so it is looking awesome and she's put out some decorations for memorial day but uh the, these flowers have really taken off with her furt um, the natural furt she talked about in her video and with that natural rain that is what got it to pop we've been watering it with our city water daily but man when the natural rain came man it really got these flowers to pop so look just how beautiful they are. The roses continue to look astounding. Um, it's so much better looking in person than it is on video, but it still looks great. As I mentioned, we watered all this yesterday. It's shaggy looking. I'm gonna mow today, I'm gonna cut it, but I did wanna show you the furt is definitely causing it to um, to grow. Um, it is, so if you put down 12024 and say, well, it's not gonna make it grow that much, I would disagree. It's made my lawn really grow a lot. Um, but as far as the nitrogen making it stress out more, Mr. Furt, Ferguson? I, no, there's no way of knowing that, but I would say no. Hey, Etho 4SC review, the POA is still looking the exact same as it was um, when we applied it. I mean, it doesn't look like any of it's thinned out. It's all the same there. Um, it's browning up, as I mentioned, but hey, that's exactly what it looked like last time. But we watered well on the bank, so it's looking good. Yesterday, right around that second stake right here, we was having dry spots. So the hydrotain helps. It is definitely not a cure for, I don't have to water my lawn anymore. Definitely not true. You have to water hydrotain is just an assistant you know our solar green um, it you know it's talking about stressing out this is where we put solar green I put it right here um, from Jonathan green that is the mix I put it right here it stresses out I just watered here yesterday it was stressed out a lot uh, so it doesn't seem to matter whether it's GCI Jonathan green solar green Texas bluegrass or just regular fescue it's all stressing out on this property 
again, I just have to think there's either strands of, of concrete under here, rocks, big rocks that's blocking the roots from getting deeper to get water. There's something in this soil that would have to be torn up and redone to, to really fix, because it's always the same areas. It's right here. It's, uh, it's right around here and uh, it's on the bank, right around the bank in this area. And then in the back on the right hand side near our, um, near our natural fence over there, the same thing. This is looking super shaggy, definitely needs cut today. But again, just a testament to the furt. The furt looks green, it's rich. Again, as I mentioned, when it rains, it really greens up. Now, would, I, would you be okay, Mr. Ferguson, to put down some, um, some 700 green effect on top of this? Yeah, but you're, just remember, you're adding 7% nitrogen um, on top of your protein, which is a slow release fertilizer, but you're gonna have some more growth. You know, do you really want that much nitrogen in the summer? So we're gonna let this do its thing, but we may do some 505 to darken it up for a weekend, maybe some green effects, something like that, but that is as far as I'll go. I'm gonna work on watering here in this morning, getting the water down to really uh, hydrate this section back here. I can definitely tell standing here, this section has grown a lot. This section, the growth has slowed um, because it's stressing out because of whatever's under the ground here. So we need to get water in this backyard section. So I'm going to be working on that here shortly. But that is kind of a 14-day a, a review. My just very few thoughts about the protein. It's just as great as the other stuff. It has caused the grass to grow uh, slightly faster with that nitrogen in it. Um, the green up has been great, especially after a good rain, the green up is even better um, and it's great. And so far we need to do a soil test to check on the calcium of the cow tide. We need to check on the, um, the, the, the um, what is our soil test looking like applying two bags now of protein this year. Um, we need to do a soil test. So I promise you guys, I'm gonna work on that and hopefully we'll have a results video soon man so i apologize if the wind is really loud but it feels great it's going to be another scorcher today here it's going to be in the 90s so again i'm going to get out here and water let my sprinklers run for a good amount of time to get water in this backyard i want to try to keep it alive we're doing everything we can to try to be successful to keep this lawn going as long as we can in the end though, let me say this, you know, last year I was like, oh, I'm so mad. I'm, this year I'm not gonna be upset. If my lawn completely falls apart and everything dies off, I'm gonna be just fine. You know what? It'll save me money. Um, I'll be able to show you guys, hey, this is what my lawn looks like. Show you the good, the bad, the ugly, and, uh, and we'll roll with it. So I'm not, it's not the end of the world if I put this money into it and it does end up dying. It will show me, okay, there's, there's almost nothing I can do that I know of that I've not done to get this lawn through the summer. As I told you guys, however, my dad pretty much made it all through summer with his Scott's golden Southern gold mix or whatever it was with whatever blend that was, he swears by it. That's what he's gonna stick with because his grass lasted all summer. Um, he's also on city water like me and he's very rarely watering it as well. And so it may be something I look at. Thank you for watching the review. Hope you've enjoyed this little bit of a review of protein, seeing what my lawn looks like two weeks after applying. Um, and I hope that you've uh, enjoyed the video. Monday may not be a video, just so you guys know. Um, we've got a church trip coming up Friday night. We're going camping into Saturday. I will try my best to make a video for Monday, but if not, I apologize. And if you're missing this, and if I didn't include it in the video, we'll tell you more about it on Wednesday. So hopefully we can get a Monday video for you. If not, we'll catch it on Wednesday. God bless you guys. Hope you've enjoyed it. We'll see you on the next one.